Hi everybody, this is Rebecca Keppel. I am super excited to be here on Thermoweb's YouTube channel today to introduce you to one of their new product lines. It's the Thermoweb Decafoil Metallics Gel. This stuff is amazing. It is creamy, like softened butter, because it's a gel, it's not a paste. So it goes on really, really smoothly, especially over stencils. And what I like to do is ink right over that and it acts as a resist as well. So let me show you these brand new uh, colors that we have and this is a brand new product, the Decafoil Metallics Gel. Okay, so when you open up, just look at how beautiful that is. That is the Champagne Mist. This one is the Glazed Pewter. Just look at how creamy that is in the bottle. These are so easy to work with. This is black ice and they dry pretty quickly. Um, here we have pure gold. So beautiful. When they dry, they're even more metallic than they look when they're in the bottle. So that is the most amazing part about this. Okay, this one is aged copper. And then this last guy here is the White Pearl. And this is one of my absolute favorites because this can go really pretty over um, a stencil on white cardstock. You could just leave it as is and have it dry for that metallic pearl look. It would be a tone on tone effect with that pearl essence. And you get the dimension as well. Okay, so I am using the white pearl today and I have a piece of white cardstock. I am using Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock. I'm also showing you the Pixie Dust Spray. It is absolutely amazing. So you just spray it lightly on the back of your stencil, lay it down on your paper and on even on a glass mat or even on a non-stick mat, it's going to stick. It's repositionable, so it is not going to be permanent on your stencil it washes off you can use it several times you can see here that I'm using a palette knife to place some of the white pearl metallics gel on our brand new stencil pal I love this thing don't use a credit card don't use a palette knife you're gonna get the best most even application of your metallics gel when you use the stencil pal. There's enough flexibility to it that you can get in all the little divots of the stencil, but it's also firm enough that you can get it nice and even and straight across. And then look at that, I just peel it right off and because of that pixie spray, I'm able to get a nice, clean, crisp impression, nothing moved around, and there we go. Now I just need to set that aside to dry. Okay, since I used the Bristol Smooth cardstock, I'm able to do some really pretty ink blending over the dried metallics gel. And you can see there that it kind of acts as a resist as well. So I'm using my Distress Oxide inks. I started with Picked Raspberry, and then I'm using uh, Abandoned Coral, and then I believe I used Mustard Seed for my yellow. And for the green, I'm going to use Twisted Citron. I'm just putting a little bit more yellow in there. I'm realizing that I wanted kind of that um, almost sunrise or sunset effect over that stencil. This stencil is from Whimsy Stamps, and I really love this stencil. I think I'll be using it like a million times over <laughs> with all kinds of the metallics gels. I think it would be really great to use the pure gold on black cardstock as well. Sorry if you hear squeaking in the background, that's my dog, he is playing with his little toy. So the last color that I used was Tumbled Glass, and then I'm just gonna come in with just a hint of the um, Shaded Lilac as well. And I love rainbows, this is really easy to do over that stenciled background, and I love that it resists. If you feel like it did get covered up a little bit, you can just take like a microfiber towel like I did there, and just wipe away some of that ink. So now I'm going to use the Gina K dot roller to adhere this panel that I cut down onto some Gina K for Thermoweb black cardstock as well. And I think it just makes that rainbow pop even more. I am going to stamp and heat emboss a sentiment on some white cardstock. I did die cut that with the Gina K for Thermoweb circle stitch dies. And I'm just gonna heat emboss it since I used the Versafine. I really want this to stand out because 
that background is so pretty. I feel like if you get a nice shiny sentiment as well, it will really stand out on that pretty, pretty background. So I'm just going to heat set that and you can see how it just makes it nice and shiny and really crisp black as well. So once I have that done, I am going to adhere this to my card panel. I decided to pop this little sentiment circle up. So I'm using some Gina K for Thermoweb foam tape that I'm just cutting down into three pieces to hide behind there. If you use black cardstock, they also have black foam tape, which is awesome. This way you can't see anything peeking out from behind there. And that's it, so easy and so much fun to create that stenciled background with the white pearl. I also used the white pearl to create these tiny little hearts using a Simon Says Stamp stencil. You can see here that I used some purple tape to tape it down. That's just because the pixie spray was not available yet. So I had to go with the old fashioned method, but I am telling you that pixie spray is a game changer. You will never use tape again. Use the purple tape for your die cutting, not for your stenciling. But look at how pretty that came out. And you could just leave that as is. I love that little fine detail of the white pearl on the white cardstock. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But to enhance it a little bit, I did decide to come in with some Distress Oxide Spun Sugar and just add kind of a halo of color in the center there. Sorry that my camera just kind of went in and out of focus. I think, I don't know, I was moving too quickly even for the camera. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to wipe away anything that was on top of those hearts with that microfiber towel. I'm going to adhere it down to some pattern paper. This is from Simple Stories. And that's it. It really just kind of makes that center area stand out with the inking over those little delicate white hearts created by the Thermoweb Decofoil Metallics Gel. I'm telling you, it is so easy to work with. It is just so smooth and creamy and buttery. It goes on really, really well so you can create a really uh, like even application over your entire stencil, which then makes it easy to ink over and create different looks and effects. So if you're interested in any of the supplies that I used, I will link them down below. The links may be a little bit later than the video going live just because I have to wait for the products to go live in the Thermoweb store, but they will be available. And so uh, you can check them out down below in the description here. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.